Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on or use Internet Explorer in Windows 11. So you may have heard the news or the rumor that Microsoft was removing Internet Explorer from Windows 11. Well, that is certainly not the case. It is still on Windows 11 and not in only IE mode on Microsoft Edge. You can actually use the full Internet Explorer web browser on Windows 11, and it is built natively into Windows 11. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, as well as a couple of the shortfalls, I guess, compared to you know earlier versions of Internet Explorer or on other operating systems that there's a couple of restrictions that you can't really get around on Windows 11. But if you're just looking to use Internet Explorer, create a shortcut for it on the desktop, then today is the day for you. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in Notepad, best match. We'll come back with Notepad. Go ahead and open that up. I'm going to have some text in the description of the video. So again, just copy and paste this. It's going to sort of create object. And then once you have it exactly how you see it on my screen here, you want to go ahead and select the File tab. You want to go Select File, Save As. Navigate to the Documents folder on your computer, and then in the file name, delete whatever's in there, type Internet Explorer.vbs, save as type, click on the drop down, select all files, and then select save. So now you've done that, you can close out of the notepad file. And if we were to open up our Documents folder on our computer, so we're going to go underneath Documents here, underneath Folders. And actually, we're going to go underneath this Documents folder. So just go on the left panel of File Explorer and then just select Documents. That can take you right here. So you can see we have this Internet Explorer VB script file. Go ahead and right-click on that. And then you want to select where it says Show More Options. Select Create Shortcut. And now just take this shortcut file, drag it over to your desktop. You can close out of the Documents window at this time. And now right-click on the shortcut, and you want to select where it says Properties. Select Change Icon. And then you can scroll over and select the Internet Explorer version 8 icon. I don't believe they have it IE 9 or 10 or 11 on here. But you probably can find other icons as well online if you looked hard enough for it. Go ahead and select the OK. And then we're going to select the OK again. So now that we have the shortcut on our desktop, so now that it's on our desktop, you can just double click on it. And you can also delete the word shortcut from the name of the shortcut as well. So there's a couple of issues with Internet Explorer on Windows 11. Like you can't change the home page, but you can select the little home icon on the top right or the Alt and Home tab in order to take you to MSN. And that will take you right here. And just keep in mind, everything does work. You can go to Google. All the main website search engines work fine. And you can see the icon down in your taskbar. Now, I do want to point out, if you right-clicked on it and you select Pin to Taskbar, you close out of here, it will allow you to save the Internet Explorer icon down in your taskbar. However, what happens is that it redirects you to Microsoft Edge when you relaunch the browser. So just keep that in mind. Unfortunately, that is not going to work here for you. But pretty basic tutorial, guys. Like I said, generally, it has most of the functionality of Internet Explorer, except, like I said, you can't change the home page. And unfortunately, it doesn't appear that you can actually pin it to the task bar without it redirecting to Microsoft Edge. But pretty straightforward process on that, guys. This is Internet Explorer, and we are on Windows 11 here. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.